Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is a review, another review of the F522, which is a clone of the C-Max 5C. Now, the F522, I did a uh, test of this yesterday. I was very impressed with the stability of this uh, quadcopter. Extremely stable flyer, maybe even more stable than the X5C. Um, it was a very smooth flight that I had with this quadcopter, which tells me that this is probably a very good quadcopter for aerial video. Now, the F522 does not come with a camera. You have to supply your own camera. In this case, I've attached a simple attachment of the 808 number 16 keychain camera, and I'm going to demonstrate this quadcopter in aerial video. Um, using my own camera, uh, not the uh, remote control cameras that, like you get with the CMX 5C, which I'm not very impressed with anyways. I'm impressed with the 808 keychain camera, though, as many of you have seen my previous videos. <laughs> so let's go for, for a flight, an aerial video flight of the F522. Hope you enjoy the flight. Okay, I have the camera recording. Turning on the transmitter. Quadcopters bound. Hope you enjoy the flight. Trimming. And away we go. I turned off the lights on this. This quadcopter has an on-off switch for the lights, which is nice. Walking out onto the field here. So, again, this is the F522 with an 808 keychain camera. I took my fingers off it for a second there. But let's put it into a uh, hover over my head here and do a rotation. Continuing rotation. That's the slowest I can get the rotation. Okay, going downfield. Turning. Going upfield. Well, let's try it in higher modes. Going to intermediate. Let's see if we got any uh, jello in effect. At higher speeds. Okay, I got a little bit of range issues here. It lost contact with the transmitter. I've seen that on other quadcopters. If you attach a camera onto the quadcopter, it, it has less range than it does without the uh, camera on the quadcopter. I've been curious what's causing that. I'm thinking as you add weight to some of these quadcopters, these lighter weight quadcopters, uh, the increased motor power required to lift the quadcopter is probably causing interference. Okay, there we go. So let's go back into the air again. Going back to beginner. And setting it up overhead. It climbs well. I don't see what the problem is, but okay, go into extreme and, and let's put it in steep turn or steep uh, bank. It's out of range again.
Okay. So maybe this isn't the best quadcopter to put an 808 on. CMX5C is much more stable with an 808 in terms of range. But it's good to find that. It's going off again. Ooh, that didn't look good at all, folks. Let's go see. I saw something coming off, which is not a good sign. <laughs> Luckily, we can see what that was in this open field here. I saw what appeared to be something come off. It was the camera. That's what came off. Okay. <laughs> But is the quadcopter still flyable? Turning off the camera. Okay, let's take a look at this quadcopter. Spinning the props after that. This is the arm it hit, and it hit real well. It hit real hard. But it's all in one piece. It's still in one piece. Okay, I'm going to leave the uh, camera off this and. Uh, use the rest of the battery uh, without the camera, without the weight of the camera. Let's see how this flies without a camera. <laughs> see if it's still flyable. I'm going to have to rebind it by uh, unplugging and replugging the battery. Okay. Boy, that was a hard hit. I hope this still flies. I don't see any damage on it. Don't hear any damage. Okay, I'm in expert mode. I'm just going to continue flying in expert mode until that battery dies. But boy, that was a hard hit. Okay, it flies great in expert mode without a camera on it. Let me take a look here. How's those lights? Those lights are flashing, indicating the battery's getting low. Okay, so um, I take back saying that this is a good quadcopter for the 808. It's just a good quadcopter to learn to fly on, really. It's maneuverable without the 808, but when you put an 808 on it, its range becomes iffy. And I've seen that again and again. This is the third time I've seen that on a quadcopter, on these toy quadcopters, when you put a bigger... Um, there goes the battery. When you put a uh, camera on it, you lose a reception range on it. And I don't know what's causing that. Maybe some of you electrical engineers out there can help answer that. Why would the quadcopter range decrease when you add weight to it, such as a camera on the bottom? Again, I'm, I'm uh, proposing that as you add weight, you have to use increased throttle, which is probably, maybe, causing increased arcing interference from the motors which interferes with the reception but again this is quadcopter 101 with the f522 <laughs> another interesting flight had a nice crash you don't see that all all the time with me <laughs> but it does happen okay quadcopter 101 setting out